Although people think Helensburgh is a very well-to-do town, not all the children that come to dancing are like that. And there's a number of children who are from single parents. Sometimes they don't pay, sometimes they do pay, but that's just the way it is. 250 kids at the club, you can probably imagine with the overhead strips are £500 a set, paying referees and travel, it's just amazing actually how much the bills go up every year. Before I done the competition I wasn't very interested in drawing but once I drew it I realised I was better than I thought I was. It's a very good idea for children to be exposed to the world of business because learning is lifelong and we have to develop a confidence. I think first of all you've got to be passionate about being involved in the community and you need to know your community. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're, you're in a small town like Helensburg or, or a big city. You've got a little advantage because you work in the town, you stay in the town, uh, you actually know what happens in the town uh, and if you know what happens in the town, well, well, you can engage with it. Good morning, my name's Leona Barclay and I'm from Helensboro, Toyota. We offer a hybrid eco-lesson for the primary schools in our community um, to allow them an insight into some of the Toyota vehicles. Just talk to you about the environment. The children at Colgreen, it's a transient population and it's very important that our children have opportunities to link in with business. So we camera, have children who might only be here for four years, so to give them an enriching experience from a local business and the world of work, well, Toyota provides that for us. If you're part of the community, then you need to be genuinely a part of the community. It's not a tick box exercise. It's a, a missed opportunity for, for any centre not to be involved. And it's not just to sell a car or to get a car in for a service. It, it, it's a longer term thing than that. The community partnership was formed um, two years ago and we decided to do it because we had so many groups asking for help and sponsorship and we, we felt it was very difficult to single out one or two in particular. Toyota and Helensborough do a community partners programme and if anybody is looking for sponsorship, they'll look at it favourably. And also they give £50 to a school. It can be an educational school or a dancing school if you buy a car from there. So it's a very, very good idea. Right at the very beginning, they came in and sponsored one of the age groups. But since then, it's totally grown. We they now run a seven-a-side tournament for us every year. When you see the kids and you hand out a new strip to them, they run in and they, then they grab it and where's mine, where's mine, what number am I? So it's really, really good that Toyota sponsor the boys and they've got a wee bit of identity. The Dream Car competition uh, started three years ago and it started uh, with Toyota's national competition and we decided to add our own local competition to it. My idea was the underwater Nessie adventure truck. If you go in, it can take you around underwater and on land and if possible, you'd have the chance to find Nessie. I didn't think I was going to win, but when I found out, I was really excited and nervous. I think social responsibility is about being able to, to go home at the end of the night uh, feeling that you've actually achieved something. It's not just about money in the till, it's not just about the next transaction, it's actually having a, a sense of, of purpose and that you've actually achieved something. If you want to be able to do the, you know, the best you possibly can do, um, and that's for your, for your family, uh, that's for your staff, uh, and that's for your community as well. You know, I want to see Helensburg be vibrant and successful, and Helensburg Toyota can help to do that. Mm -hmm.